everybody, this is the second video in the series that we're doing every Friday on the new Enterprise DNA Power Tools external tool suite. And last week we covered DAX Editor Pro, and today we're going to dive in and take a look at PowerSort Pro. And this, for those potentially not familiar with this, this is a suite of tools developed exclusively for Enterprise DNA members by Microsoft MVP Greg Deckler. And it's, it's free for members. Um, you can just download it right from the uh, from the main page here. And I talked last week about how to download the installer and go ahead and install that into your external toolbar. Um, if you need instructions on that, you can just go right to the uh, YouTube video from last week on DAX Editor Pro. And the first few minutes of that just walks you through exactly how to do that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to dive into PowerSort Pro. And let's, let's jump in right into Power BI and get going on this. Um, and what I've got here is just a couple of tables and a, a bar chart from the external uh, tool for practice data set that we've, we've developed and put on the forum. And this is just a, a simple star schema. It uses the Enterprise DNA dates table, um, the extended date table. And what I've done is just pulled out a couple of tables um, here. I've got day of, day of week name and total sales. I've got one for channel and importance and total sales. And then month and year and, and total sales. And you can see by looking at these that these are these are all sorted improperly. That you've got day of week sorts in alphabetical order. Um, here we've got channel. And what we want to do is we want to sort that by, by importance, high, high, mid, and low. Um, and then a common one we've got here is month and year. And when you drop those into a table or a chart, they're just going to sort alphabetically since they're all text fields. And so what you've typically got to do is you've got to go, you know, into your dates table and look for month and year. And then you've got to figure out, okay, what is the, the proper sort column? That you need to go through and and then attach and sort by that that numeric field, and it turns out to be month and year. Um, if you happen to remember that, if you don't, what we've got historically in the past is a cheat sheet that we developed that shows you for each of the date fields what the proper sort field is, and that was that was pretty helpful. Um, you had to go through and manually sort each one. Um, but at least it told you which which was the proper field. But now with PowerSort Pro, you don't need to do any of that. So let me show you how this works. So if you if you go into External Tools, and if you've installed your external tools from the installer, you'll get these five tools: Quick Measures Pro, PowerSort Pro, Meta Mechanic Pro, M Metadata Mechanic Pro. I've shortened the name here just to cram more tools into my toolbar. Uh, Conductor Pro and DAX Editor Pro. We, we talked about DAX Editor Pro last week, but today we're going to jump in on PowerSort Pro. And this is just a huge time saver, and I'll show you how this works. That what you want to do here is there are three different ways to, to set your sort. Um, one is by sort text, and this, this looks for a field that has the name sort in it so that it identifies as a sort column. If you check here, if you use the Enterprise DNA Extended Date Table, what Greg has done is he's programmed in all of the, the sort fields, and it recognizes that date table and automatically sorts by all the, all the proper fields. And then the, the other way to do it is manually, and I'll show you that in a minute. So what you can do here is you can, you can select any one of your of your tables, or you can just select all, and I typically just keep it on all. You hit find by sort column, uh, set sort by column, it'll say finished, and you are done. What we can see is that um, everything is sorted exactly right. That we've got Sunday through Saturday, we've got high, mid, and low, and we've got our total sales by month and year sorted chronologically. So basically two clicks and there you go. No more manual setting of sort columns. 
So let's just go back in real briefly and I'll just show you a couple of more things that you might find helpful over time. Um, so let's power sort pro. And basically one of the things is that if for some reason you wanted to clear out all of your sorts, what you could do is just hit clear, find by sort column, and then set sort column. So basically run the process in reverse and it'll clear out all the sorts. And the other thing is, um, let me show you in the channels table. So what we've got here is channel sort and because of that sort designation, it automatically recognized that as the sort column. But let's say we had this channel order column and we wanted to make that the, the sort column instead. So if we go back to PowerSort Pro, there's two ways we could do that. One of which is we could initially set this to order rather than sort for the keyword. Um, but let's say in other, other tables we had sort. And so what we could do is just um, find sort columns and let's just go to our channels table and update sort by columns. And what we can do here is we can unset from channel sort and then we can just manually select channel order and then set by sort columns and now that's finished and we've got channel sort as our channel order as our sort column rather than channel sort so you've always got the ability to to unset and to set manually which is still faster than picking your measure or your column going up to the the column designation finding the the uh, the proper numeric field and then hitting set and doing that manually. So even if you were to do it manually, you can do it all at once. But there's there's generally no need that you just you just hit all tables, find set and you're done. So that is PowerSort Pro. Uh, it's a fantastic time saver and it's a great addition to the external tools menu. So that's it for PowerSort Pro today. Um, again, big thanks to Greg for putting together this amazing tool set. Um, and we'll be back next week uh, covering probably Conductor Pro. Um, that's one I need to spend a little bit more time going through, but it's got some incredible capabilities that I'm eager to show you. So look forward to that next week. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.